Yo, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be going over my blast tournament uh, semi-finals. This tournament was for I think 15,000 euros or something like that. It was a pretty good amount. We did make top four, um, so we had a game the day before today. And we're gonna get right into the games though. So we have Squeak, Amber, and Frank. Uh, they have pretty good Daryl game. I got a good slow off on Yoshi there. Uh, I don't know if he ends up dying though. Daryl had a really good role, well played by Lenane. But uh, yeah, I think I prefer their comp in this one. I think it's just way too good of a Daryl game. Um, I think it's winnable. Also, <laughs> oh that's so unlucky, I didn't even see that. I lived out 612, because it looks like I can hit the turret through the wall, and I can technically, but yeah. And anyways, it's actually kind of even right now. I feel like they did a bad job like just holding the zone because they had such a strong lead. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go down there to Joker. He got a good shield off on himself. But uh, this game's definitely still winnable. Lenane's going to roll in there. Oh, that was such a good roll. Lenane is so good at Daryl. I think he kills me too, yeah. <laughs> Our tank's doing the same up there, so almost. Well played to Lenane. I didn't even see that roll. Like, this is my first time watching it back. I think that was a crazy roll. I'm gonna throw my squeak hyper out and uh, just kind of area denial. We have to get them out of the zone. And uh, yeah, okay, he hasn't had the best supers this game. And I think opening the map up is okay though. Uh, Daryl did do a bad roll there. So we're actually like getting a lot of time right now. And we're only down by like five points right now and we have full control. So this is actually really good for us. Um, Tomsey's kind of feeding the Gus a little bit. And, uh, yeah, he is going to get his big shot, but they don't have Daryl's super, so he can't really go in. So, I think, here I'm yelling out, get in the zone, get in the zone. I don't think we were paying attention to, like, what was left. Uh, 2%, and I think they kill us there if we don't go in the zone right there, so... That was good, we won the first game. Before we continue with the video, I just want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Arcade Online. Arcade Online combines the thrill of modern arcade experience with the convenience of a mobile app. All the anticipation and excitement of skill-based games where you put patience, reaction time, and strategic thinking to the test. Combined with tickets, prizes, and a competitive social atmosphere. You can play real arcade games to win tickets and XP and redeem real prizes. You can play games on your phone or computer over a live stream internet connection. You don't even have to download an app. You can play immediately in your browser at ArcadeOnline.com. Arcade Online features real, physical ticket redemption arcade games. Those tickets can be used to redeem real prizes. Arcade Online also hosts regular tournaments and competitions. There's lots of regular tournaments to encourage social competition and an opportunity for players to earn more rewards through the site. Thanks to Arcade Online for sponsoring today's video. And you can create your free account by following my link in the description and get 20% off when you use code OGBRAWL20 at checkout. Game number two, uh, this time my teammate, also shout out to Ope and Tomzy, they are the goats. I had a lot of fun playing this tournament with them. Um, but yeah, this one, Ope told me to gadget Pam up the start, so I did, and I actually hit her, like, right on. So we get a free kill to start the game off. I get my super really fast, um, and yeah, I'm just gonna be aggro, just trying to keep Joker low. I do hit him with the Squeak Bomb. So I'm on the star power because of Daryl, that, like, I do more damage. Um, usually I play this slow, but there's a tank, so I feel like I have to play this one. And, uh... Yeah, so my supers, I won't be looking to like just kind of, I mean, I'll use them like obviously to hit people, but it's not like the same value as like hitting someone with the slow. I'm going to gadget mid there, Lenane with another really good roll, uh, but we are slowly getting control back and the game's pretty even right now. Um, it's really unlucky, he gets knocked back by the shield there. And um, yeah, I think I just try getting the ham turret actually, because I think that's a pretty good trade for me. The super on Squeak's not the best. Um, I had some good shots on Yoshi too, and Pam turret's definitely way better. I don't know if it's good if it's open for us, honestly. I think it's it probably doesn't change much. I thought he would kill me there, but he went for Tom's. He was a really good roll. And my turret, or sorry, my hypercharge does end up missing. But I get a pretty good gadget off, and uh, I do go down, but I think that gadget kind of gave us a chance in this game. Get them out of mid, and my teammates double teamed the Daryl. Um, so that's a pretty bad super because he could have had that wall, and we could have got like an extra like 10, 15%, I think. But now they can kind of push and just like shoot us for free. I got a good squeak super for a change, and I'm focusing Daryl. 
keeping him low. Uh, Tomzi is going to go down, though, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah, when... I think I killed Daryl here. I got Pam there, and I kind of bait Daryl here. But, uh, just not enough time, I don't think. And, uh, I'm one shot. I do get Joker, but unfortunately, uh, the Pam does make it to the zone. And, uh, yeah, we lost that one. It was close, but we lost by, like, 10%. Alright, game number three. Um, and yeah, I think this game we do have our worst start, if I remember it. I don't think I get my gadget off on anyone. I do hit a shot on Lenane, but he just runs right out afterwards, and uh, we do kill him, but Joker with that shield. I would run right at him, but he's just gonna kill me, so I think it's fine that I stay alive. Honestly, the start wasn't. Okay, maybe this is where I think the start's bad. Yeah, they have a pretty good Daryl play there, too. I would have ran at Joker and maybe... I don't know. I think it's fine what I did. Tomzy gets a good burn there as well. And uh, the Daryl... I wonder if the other Frank gadget would have been better. Just because he is getting like his stuns cancelled a lot. Uh, I do take out Joker. And yeah, they're starting to get a pretty good lead in this game. Tomzy gets a good kill. Pate's going to hypercharge up. I don't know if it's good that we break it. I, I feel like it just makes it too easy for Gus to play. He can kind of kind of just hit whoever he wants. He has a pretty free game. Daryl has a free game too, I think. Pam has bad, well, not the best or worst matchups. I hypercharge there just for some pressure. I don't want to die. Um, so I use it to get some like pressure and speed. Probably should have waited for my super, but I think it's okay. We're kind of catching up here. And uh, I think if we can get Ope up against that top wall, it'd be really great. Um, but I think Tomzy just gets tapped by Joker here. I have to see. We do have the lead. Tomzy gets a really good burn too. And look at Lenane, bro. He has such good Daryl rolls. Uh, Tomzy did get hit by Joker though, unfortunately. And I missed two big shots. If I could hit those two shots there, that would have been really good. Or if I had a gadget or something left. I'm hitting some shots now, but... I don't know, we really need to push here. And uh, I think Lumane just kind of manages to kill us. Yeah. I know it's close. I definitely prefer their comp in this one. We first pick Squeak. I don't I don't know. I, I think against a team like SK, they're just going to go tank last every time. So I don't think we should have went Squeak 1. But uh, yeah, it was definitely winnable though. I don't know. I don't think we played amazing or bad. All right, game number two on Sneaky Field. So we did last pick Barley here, and uh, the draft went, they first picked Chester. We went Gale, Frank. They went Rosa, B, and uh, we last picked Barley. So you can see I'm playing really slow on my side. I don't want to get slowed by Lenane and I'm on slow barley, so I have vision gear, so I know he's coming right now, and I play that kind of perfectly. He doesn't even get a shot off on me, and they could score here, but I think I get a pretty good super off, and uh, Tomzy stays alive too, hits a shot. I know Chester's in here, so I don't want to like just try poking. I want to like run up and kill him, kind of, and just play around these walls as best as I can. He does one-shot me, but I think it was fine. The name's going to super, and uh, yeah, I don't think Ope should be opening the map up again just because they have a B. And we have a Barley, but uh, he does get a good kill on Joker there, and we have full control right now. But Yoshi did get a bomb there, and he will take a payout. So we don't want the map open, obviously, because they have a B. We have a tank and Gale, um, and I'm trying to bait Lenane out. I do get him slowed. They do have hypercharge, so this is a really good chance for them to score. Honestly, I'm very glad his hypercharge super got canceled there. I think that's really good for us. And I get a huge Barley hypercharge super here. Otherwise, I think they score there. I did want to use it for more value, but I get a good kill on Lenane. And uh, I do have my super when I come back out. Um, so, in my opinion, Joker should just kind of hard carry the game at this point. It's wide open map. Like, nobody can even really hit him. Um, and he's on, like, the double 3k one. So I think this game, in the state it is, in Joker should just kind of carry. Uh, nice super from Ope, breaking some more walls. And uh, yeah, I'm going to Barley super them back here, I think. Just because they're kind of grouped up and I don't really hit anyone, but it's more for positioning. Like, I knew I wouldn't hit them, uh, but it's just to get them backed up. And uh, Ope <laughs> on a mission to break everything open on the map. Um, but... 
Yeah, he is gonna get some good damage on Linane, and actually a really good kill. Like, Frank's damage is so crazy when it gets up close. Um, and here, I'm just trying to push Joker back. Um, it is a free matchup for him, but I think I can kind of just... My shots stay on the ground for a while, so I think I can use that to my advantage. Linane's gonna hypercharge up. And Tomzy does a really great job to kill me, and I get a nice shot off there as well. But it's overtime, completely open. They have a much better overtime comp, in my opinion. And I get my hypercharge, though, and I kill both of them. And then I think I get my super back, so that was a really nice hypercharge. I'm calling for the bomb, like I'm one to super, and uh, I just managed to get the shot off before they spawn in in time. So I, I think I played that game pretty well. All right, game number two. And uh, yeah, same thing. I gotta be careful Linane doesn't sneak on me because he is a very like high IQ player. He knows how to play in grass very well. I do have vision on him right now, so I should have pushed him there, honestly. So that's kind of my bad. And he sneaks right by my shot, but I do manage to slow him. And he does like go over the wall like a little bit, uh, but we do trade the kill back. But that's what I'm talking about. Like he's like very good at finding those gaps and like knowing when like you don't have vision. But Pay gets a really good shot off as well too, so. Yeah, how I see this is like the start is definitely favored for us. The longer the game goes on and like the more open it is, it becomes way more favored for them. Uh, but once we get our supers, we have such good like, it's so easy for us to score just like this. And uh, yeah, we do have a hypercharge on the Frank. I think I'm getting close to my Barley hypercharge. Um, and Linane does have his super. I do manage to get vision. So once I see that, I'm going to go up and uh, he just does kind of... He's trying to make space for his team. Oh, he breaks like the entire map with one hypercharge. But I'm yelling we can score here. He gets stunned. I'm just spamming there. I'm like, shoot, Tomzy, shoot. And it just goes in. So it was really close, but uh, I think we played that one really well, game number two as a team. All right, game number three. I think they have comp here again. Uh, the only reason why I think, I think this might be our worst comp, but I'm on Nani and I'm super confident on Nani. And uh, you can see right off the start here, I mess up though. I should have a free kill and we should have the lead. They get blue star because they have Byron Max. And uh, I hit Joker once. If I just like return to sender it, I do it like a second late. We would be up right now. Like he would have died there. Uh, so I messed up. Tomzy also has the wrong gadget on. He's on like the close range RT one. Honestly, I probably traded to him. But Joker's like jet, like 250 HP. Like, come on, bro, just die, please. And uh, we get so much pressure though from like the Nani head and everything. And here, I think we're in like a really good place. Uh, we just kind of have to chill. I want to get off the max, honestly. Uh, it's definitely, they picked max because of Nani. I hit Joker with a really good shot. Tomzy hits him once, he's dead. But uh, unfortunately, he just has speed. He gets like kind of ran down. Here too, like I'm about to kill a Nane and like I, I was just right against the wall. So like, I get knocked back. I thought that was going to hit me, so I used my last return to sender because I would have died if the Byron shot hit me. Uh, but I, the game's a lot harder for me now because I'm out of return to senders. He still has Piper Curves. We do have a Penny Mortar though, so it's definitely winnable. Um, I'm just like super vulnerable because I don't have any return to senders. Um, and Max will do a good super. Our turret's just like a little far back. It's not the end of the world because they do have to kind of keep some pressure on, I think. Um, but yeah, we're trying to get the matchups right as well. I get curved. Oh, that mortar is pretty close. I think Linane, honestly, that would have been nice. Um, but yeah, we just kind of have to look for like a last second push. I'm trying to body block for Ope. He gets his barrel out in time though. And I think he might get pinched here. Tomzy's going to get ran down like a little bit. Yoshi's been playing good on Max in my opinion. Tomzy does a nice play with the gadget though. And then we almost get them here. Yoshi's so low. And we're just kind of pressuring them. I die though. If I had a return to sender, I'd be fine there. Maybe I, I don't think I hit the Byron in time, but I could have won us the game in the first like two seconds. That's what bothers me about that game. All right, and uh, game number two. So I think I get a good start off. I just full tap Joker, I get him one shot. And uh, I hit him again. Dude, this guy is so lucky, I swear. Like, just living on, like, one each. Well, that one was a little more, but it's the same interaction. And I get my head in, like, two seconds. Um, and I think I just go for joke. Or, no, I Tomsey's telling me to go for the max. Um, Opey does kind of run up and die there. That's pretty bad. Um, but we still have position. Me and Tomsey are holding it down pretty well. And I have to time my return to center for the Piper shot. I still die, though. Um, I was up a little high after Ope died. I wanted to hold position, but 
and then Tomzy dies too. So, I mean, this game's not looking the best, but I'm just trying to get on Piper because I know I can kill him. Like, I've gotten so close. And uh, I get Byron really low. I'm going to use my head here. We have them all in the corner, so this is really good. He has to dash my head, or I can just hit someone for free. And uh, we do get Byron here, I think. It's been really nice. I, I get Byron. Uh, I get Piper low too. They're all so low, but this is fine. I think I look for the Piper. I hit him towards Ope. Ope is going to get a good shot in. And uh, we're kind of chilling right now, honestly. Like, their map's kind of broken up. Uh, Linane's doing some really good dodges. Linane was kind of the only one I felt like I couldn't hit consistently. Ope is going to have to pop his stuff. I tap Joker. And we're down by one kill. Um, so I'm going to look to get the Byron here, I think, or the Piper. Yeah, I hit the Piper. The Max can just block it, so I try to avoid areas with the Max. And Tom's using some good shots. I get, like, a really good angle here. I never use my Nani Hypercharge because all it does is make your head bigger, and my head's not really that good here. But I get a really good pinch on the Byron, and uh, Tom's gets the Max. I get the Piper, too, last second, and we do a heist kind of at the end, so... We had a lot of pressure at the start, and uh, I think I was hitting some good shots that game. All right, this game they learned and they put Byron on the left, and Lenane did not like give me the same opportunities that Joker did to take the lead at the start the last two games. He's playing around the wall a lot more. I think Joker, Joker was trying to just like two tap me or something. Um, but I'm trying to switch because I know I can kill this Piper, so I'm trying to get over on the Piper. The issue is on this side, the Max can kind of just like switch so easily and Piper's way better mid here than Nani so they can get their matchups really well this is why I think it's like I hit the max but it's just hard for me to get a kill and then Ope's trying to push but he gets like kind of pinched unlucky <clears throat> excuse me and uh yeah I'm gonna use my Nani head here I know Byron's marked so I try getting him I knew he was gonna pop out the bush but he did it like a second earlier I get Piper's jump out so it's not the worst but uh, I have to try e going Max here, unfortunately. I, th I think our issue this game was we just waited like so long to push. Uh, but Tomzy is going to get hit there by the Byron, but he does get him low and I'll return to center the Piper. So here, in my opinion, we should try pushing. Um, just like the left side, I think we have to make a play there. Um, but we're gonna give up the top left. So all the position we just had, we kind of give it up for free. And we just look like, lost right now, honestly. Like, I don't think it's anyone's fault. Maybe it was just bad comms at the time, but I was yelling to push. Cause it's just so hard when Byron gets like behind this wall. Cause he's gonna get a splash. I know he's gonna get splash at this point, but I, I tried just pushing him. And I think he uses his splash way too early. I think if he just holds it, it's really good, honestly. Like, uh, but because he used it, he gives us kind of a chance to push. And I think I hit a shot or two on him here. I do manage to kill the Byron. Uh, and we're down by one kill. So I'm coming for the max. He does a really good dash. One more second, we win, by the way. Like, I full clip him at the end there. But we should have tried pushing earlier. I, I think they have comp by a good amount there, though. Their comp's pretty good, in my opinion. All right, so this is set four. Uh, it's best of five. And... Yeah, I think they should win set one with their comp. I don't really like the tick pick, but uh, Joker was hitting me like a good amount at the start of this game, I remember. I should have just early gadgeted. I was trying to save my gadgets, but uh, I don't know. We lost mid two, so I feel like it might have been a waste, but Joker like kind of hit some really good shots on me. And <laughs> I was a little nervous at this point. I'm not nervous, but I'm like, damn, did we do like a bad draft or something? Uh, because we're, I'm just gonna fast forward. We're stuck in spawn like this whole time. I tried jumping over, but like we lost, so. At the start of this round, I'm like, okay, like I have to do something at the start. Um, Tomzy's gonna jump over, he has shield, so he can just block the pearl. I can just get like Brock back in his spawn. Uh, and I look to come over and pinch here, I think. Wanna make sure nobody gets hit by that. Uh, Ope hit some really good shots though, and does kill the Um so Squeak's kind of weird on this map, like you only play it because of the gadget. Um, so I can't really hit them that well when I like when I don't have like 100% position. Uh, we're doing good dodging the Brock shots. 
Brock does get hyper. I'm one, so Opey's getting ready to shield me. Uh, but we're kind of fine. We have so much HP, and it's like a Brock and a Tick. So we can kind of just, like, pick and choose, like, how we play this out. We don't want to feed them hyper. Like, I think at this point, they know, like, they tried doing some things, and uh, it didn't work out that they were going to lose. Um, I do get my first shot hit of the game there. That was the first one. Two rounds. Squeak's just weird on this map though. It's literally just for the gadget. Um, and this one does look good, so I'm gonna gadget early. And Lenin gets stuck because of my gadget. Uh, Tomzy does a good job, and Tomzy's gonna stay alive here as well. I could have killed Joker there, I did mess up, uh, but I think it's kind of one at this point. 3v2, and their pearls dead. They don't have any HP, and their shot is just their conflict. I think this is probably like our strongest comp so far by a good amount but yeah this one i learned from my mistakes and uh i go far left to surprise them and i think i slow lenane i'm calling out lenane 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 opay misses one shot though and i do die but i think any like exchange where we kill pearl um i think it's really good for us um just because they have no hp like look at it I don't know how they're gonna kill anyone. I don't like they had last pick by the way. They last picked tick here. I don't really like that. I mean they wanted something for the squeak, I guess, but I feel like you go Daryl into our comp and I don't know, it's knockout, so it's a little different on this map in particular. It's not the best Daryl map. But I feel like there's a better pick than uh tick here for them. Um I think they just did a bad pick though, it happens. Like I think we did a few of them too. But yeah, my teammates are just gonna play this one out slowly, like pinch, Joker tries doing his gadget, and uh, Ope is gonna get a shield, just pop it to be safe. And yeah, he's just trying not to be tick hypercharge. So we just need one more. I think this game I might be on slow squeak actually, I'm not sure. I think I just slow right away and I'm just gonna push down the right side. And Tomzy's gonna jump over. Brock has hypercharge. They do have triple hypercharge, so I guess that's how they can win the game. But this map is like really like just control based, and it's easier for us to get control than it is them, in my opinion. Uh, they do have double hypercharge right now, so Joker's gonna go for something. They have the Brock hypercharge super. Um, it's not the best hypercharge, honestly, uh, in general. The rockets do like 1k damage, I think. So um, with some of the long range sprawlers, like. I just kind of save it for the stat boost, but I get a pretty good slow up, yeah, th and then I'm calling out like for Lenane, I kill Lenane, um, Tomzy does go down, dude, Tomzy, this guy is yelling at me, shoot the chokehold, I'm like, dude, like, where else am I gonna shoot, he's just like yelling at me the whole time, I'm like, shoot the chokehold, I'm like, bro, I know how to shoot, like, he's like, shoot, <laughs> I'm like, dude, I know how to shoot, like, there's only one place I can shoot, and then, yeah, we do, like, we just, Managed to win. Healing stats, 11k damage. I mean, whatever. We won the game though. Opey played really good. All right, set number five. So both teams just need to win one game. I am like, I'm filming right after, and I'm so mad with how I played in this one. Like I, I literally invented Buster mid here. Like when I was in NA, like I was the first person to play it. And I mean, this like I'm just kind of feeding, but I wanted their gem. I think it's okay. This is probably the best I play this start. I think the next two games I threw the start. And I missed my gadget. It's not the best, but it's kind of whatever. Honestly, this game I'm playing fine. Like watching it back, like I'm probably giving Tara like a few too many hits, but I got us like early gem lead. We're like getting supers. I think the difference this game was Lenane pushes at the start, and he doesn't really do that after. So Opey is gonna get a good uh, gadget off. And I have my super, so I just hold my super so Tara can't kill me ever. Uh, I'm trying to chase Daryl out, and uh, yeah, so it's kind of fun. We have really broken supers on our, on our team. We need like Nita Bears and like Gale supers. I think he's on slow Gale though, so the super's not as great. But uh, I can kind of just walk up and get gems. And I see him going for it. I catch him out, and then I do manage to shield a few things. So like this game I actually played good. I mean I probably gave a few too many like tar hits at the start, but watching it back, like I, I mean I just want us the game there too. But it's kind of a free mid matchup and like the next two games I should be doing a lot more. Um 
But this game, I think, I, like, watching it back, I thought I played it bad, but I played this game fine. I just got hit, like, a little too much, but I think besides that, I played it fine. Alright, game number two. I think we switched lanes and the main thing that i noticed i, I watched this back already but Lenane just stands behind the wall and doesn't do anything so here like yeah i'm getting hit like a little too much i do steal their gem i think it's really good that i steal it but they kind of get a gem back for free because we don't have any pressure on the right side i could have gadgeted him there i'm stupid for not doing that i hesitated um but I think we, like, I really think Tomzy should just be pushing here. Honestly, watching this back, like, he needs to just try pinching the Daryl. This is, like, I remember this happening, and I was just like, someone needs to do something, because we're going to lose the long game. Like, we have good supers. If I'm, like, Nita, like, even if I die, I think it's fine. You get bare. Um, but I don't even have my shield at this point. I'm, like, what? I'm trying to get my shield off. Uh... I get it here off OP. I have to save it here. I'm pulling him because we need to kill him. Like, I know I wouldn't die there. Uh, and I have to save my shield so we can push back in. But at this point, I don't know. I feel like we just wasted so much time and like not doing anything. So I can shield like everything here. Um, but unfortunately, I get hit by two tower cards there. And. Uh, I don't know, like, I thought I played worse this one than I did. The next game I definitely throw, but I feel like Tomzy needs to push him there. He's kind of just, like, waiting. Even if he dies, I think you get Nita Bear. I think it's worth it. Because Nita can peek corners really well. I mean, I definitely fed Tara too much at the start, but I don't know. Uh, it was just such a stalemate. Like, I don't like that with our comp. I feel like we have to run it down. All right, game number three. This is the one that I mess up the start. So I watched it back. Ope said, we were thinking of just putting Buster far right. I think that would have been the best. Just ignore mid completely. But I didn't want to feed him gems. Um, but I decided to push here because I see he's on like the right there. And I go aggro here. And I thought we could pinch him, but he lives one shot. He lives like 180 HP. Tomzy gets in the grass. Um, and then... The game is pretty hard at this point. I'm gonna keep okay healthy there. I mean, it's still winnable. I get hit by way too many gush shots here, though. Um, one after regen. Uh, Tomzy kind of wastes bear, but Tar has pull here, so it's not ideal. I'm gonna try getting some gems, and here. They did a good job of pushing at the same time, honestly. They they did a really good job, like Daryl going in when I pull that guy. They took that really well. And I would have killed Tara, he got the gush shield though. But honestly, I think we can still like we have Gale Hyper here. So it looks really bad, but we actually like reset it. So I'm gonna push down here. I tried just keeping the Daryl away from them, so I'm gonna gadget him back. And let my teammates, I'm just hoping my teammates do something like crazy here. And look, Tomzy clutches up so nice. He gets the stun off. And he's one shot to another bear. He's one shot to another bear. He just missed it. Otherwise, we win the game. He needs to hit one shot for another bear. I don't know. I don't think the Tara, like, would have killed him. I mean, maybe it would have. But he's one shot to another bear. I get the gems or, like, some of them. But, yeah, this game, I feel like I played pretty bad. And we can almost reset here. I'm just trying to keep Lenane low because I can't really get the other two. And the bear goes the wrong way, but... Yeah, I don't know. The third game, I definitely trolled that first interaction and kind of screwed the whole game. Usually, I'm really good at Buster mid too, so I'm pretty disappointed with how I played that last one. But I think the rest of the games, I played pretty good. I don't think we had, like... I don't like... Our